success is nothing but a byproduct of learning and learning is a byproduct of curiosity. And the more curious you are about something, the more successful you'll How be. How does a person answer why something happens? When you look at the findings in different fields. Scant is the part of life in which we live. To attain the highest values. I feel like a, a really good framework for this as well as I think it's Richard Feynman's um, favorite problems idea. So just getting really clear on um, what, what you're doing, you're interested in those things. So you're following that, you're an insatiable curiosity to learn more about those things. And that's that's one of those filters. But I feel like you talked about this when you talk about other creators, just that, that ability to just follow insatiable curiosity in one axis. 100% agree. Um, and Naval, Naval had a great quote on this that then I um, sort of reworked in a thread uh, of one of his clubhouse appearances and he basically said like success is nothing but a byproduct of learning and learning is a byproduct of curiosity and the more curious you are about something the more successful you'll be mm -hmm. it's just you know um, it, it might sound yeah. trite but it's quite yeah. true and um, yeah and I, I guess like the criticism of that is well how do you cultivate curiosity and is it naturally something that you can't control like i just said with schopenhauer or is it something that you can uh throw fuel on and i sort of believe it's kind of like a nuclear mm. chain reaction um the creative output function is like um it's almost like there's this thing called a k effective multiple or multi uh, multiplication factor it's like the density of quality ideas colliding with one another produces more ideas. And so uh, if if your mm -hmm. process or your reaction is not sustainable, uh, that means the ideas are not dense enough. That you're not um, placing them in uh, proximity to each other and the, the reaction fails. And so the solution to when you, when you hit writer's yeah. block is not to continue to write, it's to stop writing and to read specifically from the classics. And by classics, I mean like long form stuff, yeah. um, stuff that has already been distilled. So what you see on the internet most of the time, I would not call dense. Um, the book that is uh, prototypically dense is Atomic Habits. Like the all of the extraneous ideas have been extracted out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's been boiled down to, as my old boss, Jim Mattis, used to say, a hearty broth. So it's not watery. That makes sense.